and you know what Clark is just right on cue the fall season brings a nice chill leaves and um, pumpkin also uh, related festivities but it's also a time where you may be ready to eat up your oven or heat up your oven and your nearest crock pot for some comfort food Clark you're at restaurant Claudine learning how to make the newest comfort dish on their menu this is something I think a lot of our audience will love but Clark you're a pretty good cook you think you can make this you know, I think I can, and I'm definitely in the spirit to dive into the crock pots and all the comfort food that um, I can cook up at home instead of making it easy and doing like a salmon or pasta every night. So I'm really happy to be hanging out with Cassie. She is the chef de cuisine of um, Restaurant Claudine, and we're making their chicken pot pie. What is the first step? All right, so we're gonna saute off our vegetables a little bit here, so we're just gonna grab some butter. Okay, so we have the butter, and we do have really delicious looking vegetables. I love all these colors, Chef Cassie. And I know it's a part of how you guys do things here on your menu as well. Do I put in the onions? Yes, yeah, so let's okay. go ahead. The pan's a little hot, so uh -huh. we're just gonna add some more butter so that we don't brown it. Okay. And we're gonna add enough um, enough flour to make a roux with, with these vegetables. So go oh. ahead and add some onion, carrots. Okay. Um, your celery, the peas, we use frozen peas, so we add those in last so they don't get mushy. Oh, I like that. Okay, so onion and carrots, and they're just kind of chopped up. Yes. Why um, keep the ingredients, um, especially the veggies, around this size? Um, just for, for comfortable bite size. You don't want to be biting into a, a big chunky carrot when you're having a pot pie. This is yes. comfort food, so you want to be comfortable eating it. Yeah, Wait, I like that. That makes so much <laughs> sense. Do you want me to add in the celery now? Yes, go ahead. Okay, so I'm just kind of adding little handfuls because this is going to be stuffed into a delicious pie. And so, then you mentioned the peas. Do we add in flour first or peas first? Uh, we'll add in the flour first. Okay. We'll add the peas in very last because they cook so fast because they are frozen. Okay, um, so about how much? So um, go ahead and just sprinkle it in there. I like, I just do it by sight. Um, this mm -hmm. is a classic chicken pot pie recipe. So it's very similar to any of the ones that you'll find online. Mm -hmm. So what you'll do here is just mix it in until it gets Ooh. nice and thick. Okay. And what we're doing here is we're cooking the flour so that we don't get that raw flour taste. Right. We get like a nice bright taste. I've definitely made the mistake of uh, not mixing it all too thoroughly and so I have gotten that flour taste and it's just not. Yes. It's not good. <laughs> so we can add this a little oh, bit that's more. That's awesome. All right, and so this is making a roux, which is very cool. And so we're making sure that we are stirring it and it's already starting to thicken up and help us make the filling. And remind me, how much butter did we use? Like about how much? And it was a um, couple of that, was, that was probably three tablespoons. Okay, cool. And the same amount of flour. All right, so about three tablespoons of flour and butter. And we have the chopped veggies. Yes. And, and now what? So now we can add some stock here. Okay, so we're adding the stock. And what kind of stock is this? So this is just the chicken stock. We we take all the bones from the chickens that we use um, and just make a, a little stock. We roast the bones and then we add some veggies, um, keep it going for at least six hours, sometimes overnight if we have the time. Okay, I feel like a mad scientist because look what's happening. So the stock, it's combining with that flour and immediately thickens up. So that's really cool to know if you're trying to make kind of like a, a stew or a roux that you really don't need much to get it thick. Okay, so here we go. This looks like a really good base, but it's missing that kind of, I don't want to say creaminess, but I know that there's another ingredient. There is. We are going to add some cream to it. Yes, okay, I love that. So, we have... So we're gonna just go in, still wanna loosen it up just a little bit. Okay. And then the cream is gonna help as well. Okay, cool. So the, the cream is going to change the color a little bit as mm -hmm. well. So this golden brown means that your flowers cook. Awesome. And that's wonderful. And then we do have the finished product that we're actually going to use. So you just add a little bit of cream to change the color, and that's what gives it that creamy white. So we can do that really quickly. That is awesome. And then just stir it in. About how much time does it take on the stove like this? 
Um, I would, I mean, this is so simple and it's gonna, you don't need it to be like extra, extra well done on those veggies. Uh -huh. We can add, we can add in the peas now. Okay. We're gonna loosen this up some more. Loosen it up, adding the peas. Oh my gosh, yes. And Chef Cassie, if someone wants to come to visit Restaurant Claudine, and I do want to show people a finished pie and what it looks like, um, but how should they get in touch with you? Um, I would say log on to Open Table, make yourself a little reservation. Mm -hmm. These pot pies have been selling like crazy lately. Yes. So we're very happy about that. And thank you so much for having us in your kitchen. Do we have a finished one that we could take a little peek at? Yeah. I really want people to see what it looks like. So you pop it into the oven, what temperature? We do 350. 350, and, and you can add a little puff pastry. So you just take a little puff pastry on top or some dough, and then you can make little marks in it to, I guess, let the air kind of steam out. Yes, yeah, so, so it you, doesn't like it puff need, up and It needs to vent for sure. Yes, ah, oh, Chef Cassie, thank you so, so much for having us in your kitchen. Roma Paul, does this inspire you to want to just take a big bite out of pie? <laughs> Clark, literally uh, we've been saying, take yes, the yes. bite. Take yes, the yes, bite. Yes. We all yes, want to yes, taste yes. that. It looks so good. And I know it's not freezing cold outside, Paul, no. but that's perfect for but, this but weather. You, but you know, it is illegal to have pot pie above, above 85 degrees. Illegal. So, so we're going in that right direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know what, though? It looked really good. Put it on the list. Put it, just, there's another one on the list. That list. Okay.